Yeah, guys, I'm just going to give you my story. I appreciate you guys listening and everything. Um, I guess I could say I grew, I grew up in the church like maybe most of you guys did. I went to church on Sunday like you go to soccer practice. Is this kind of like what you do? You know, and I kind of sat in the pew. I went to youth group because it was a lot of fun. Youth group was fun. They had cool people there. They had good food, right? So I went to youth group on you know, Sunday night and Saturday night, and then as I came to the high school age, I kind of just left that. I found fun in other places because that's why I was going there. You know, I kind of go to youth camp, and you get a little fix, and you leave. But there really was no change in my life. There was a point when I was uh, younger that a guy said, hey, man, what makes you any different from other people who say they're not a Christian? And I was like, man, there really isn't anything different about me. You know, I, I try to do good things, but I just did what I wanted to do. And so when I came to high school, I kind of picked up doing like the party and thing or whatever, just things that most of maybe you guys do. Um, and then as I went to graduate high school and stuff, I kind of just went on my own way. I turned my back on the church. I found out my faith wasn't genuine. I just did my own thing. And I, I started just looking under every rock to find a satisfaction, to find some sort of answer. Okay, I started uh, just looking to relationships and to friendships and stuff like that. And it wasn't for a long time that I felt like, man, the loneliest moment in life is really when you've experienced all the things you thought would deliver the ultimate, they, you thought would deliver the next buzz, and they let you down. And you're left feeling, okay, that was not as cool as I thought it was. And, you know, not, not to boast about evil or anything like that, but I started smoking a lot, and I smoked an eighth a day just because I wanted to get through the day. I'd be so depressed, I really couldn't look people in the face. I started selling drugs just because I lost my job, and that's how I was making a living at the time. Um, and so relationships went kind of sour and stuff, but I, was, I wasn't I was looking for God. I thought, hey man, at least I tried the church. I tried Christianity. That let me down. I'm not going back to that. And so I kept going into doing my own thing. And one day, guys, I wasn't in a church. I wasn't in a, a, a revival meeting or anything like that. I was in my apartment, and God showed up in my life. I felt the fear of God in my heart. I realized I had sinned. I had offended God that I hadn't done it his way. I had done it my, my way my whole life. And he was almost knocking on the door and I was like, you know what, I'll do things my way. Yeah, I may do a little bit of what you want me to do, but I'm really the Lord of my life. And that's what happened. And I said, God, I'm done doing things my way. I've tried it my way. If you can set me free, set me free. If you can deliver me, deliver me, because I'm really screwed up. I'm addicted to a lot of different things. I, was, I gamble through the night. I just be addicted to whatever, lust, stealing, cheating. I was a klepto. I was just a I was just a guy you want to run over on the side of the road, man. I wasn't anything great, okay? You may real, you may want to run me over. I'm sorry you feel that way. But God, forgive me of my sins. I called out to him, and he set me free from my sin. He set me free from my addictions in the moment, man. I didn't want the taste of drugs anymore. I didn't want the taste of lust anymore. I wanted him, man. I wanted life. And when I read the Bible, like a whole new world opened up to me, man. I, I realized what Jesus said was true. His words are life. And I began to eat them, but they, they satisfied me more than any of those other things I've tried. I've tasted maybe a lot of things you guys have. I've tasted unbelief. I've tasted lust. I've tasted stealing. I've tasted money. I've tasted whatever. And they lead to death. And not just like, oh, you're going to die. But they're like, they just they take you further away. They lead you down the hole, man. That's just the truth of it. And, and I just call that God. He saved me. That's all I can really say. He changed my heart. He gave me new desires. He changed my... Uh, just everything. I was changed from that day. He called me out of the mud like Lazarus did. He called Lazarus out of the tomb, right? He said, Lazarus lived. Lazarus lived. That's all I could say. I was once blind, but now I see. You know, I was once, uh, you know, whatever. And so God set me free, man. He gave me a new hope and a new future. Knowing that, but Jesus forgave me of my sin. He died for my sin. Thank you. So let's yeah.